And what is up guys, it's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another Friday Night Pocket Dump. Guys, it's Friday, we've been carrying around this heavy gear around our waist all week long. It's time to take this stuff off, it's time to reflect and take a look at what we've been carrying all week and why. Uh, guys, this week I've got a couple of new things that I'm carrying. Um, most of my stuff has not changed too much. Um, but I have do have some updates on stuff that I've been carrying, how it's working out for me. So, you know, stick around to the end of the video for that one, guys. And uh, also, we've got some stickers in from our buddy Brian over at BEEDC. Shout out there to BEEDC, great EDC channel. And uh, he sent me some stickers in from Blade Show. So, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Oh, guys, I almost forgot to say, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thank you so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. I appreciate it so much. If you're a returning viewer, hey, guys, thanks so much for stopping by again to watch another one of my videos. And let's get into it. Okay, guys, so we're over here at the bench. And what I'm going to do, as always, I'll just, I'm going to show you where I'm carrying what I'm carrying. So I'll start at the left hand side. And we'll just go all the way around the waist and i'll start with the watch of course as you know i'm always carrying my favorite tick watch pro go ahead and put that down and here in a minute i'll get into the why of everything that i'm carrying but i just want to show you guys kind of where um i mini two always around my neck there and of course on this wrist i do wear a, a glass breaker um one of the glass breaker type wristbands but Okay, and uh, so carrying this week, I've got the Microtech MSI in the pocket. And also over here, I carry my phone. This is not the phone that I carry, but this is just the prop phone because I'm actually recording on my phone. So there you go. Um, oh, yeah. Can't forget the uh, Lighter Bro Pro. Got to have that on you. And going around to the back side, I've got my keys on an HK hook and then I usually just stick them in my back pocket. Uh, got the keys there on an HK hook with the uh, fly bar, uh, quick release, titanium and a little, just a little bit of flashlight there. Put those on the old bench. Also in the back pocket, gotta have this since I wear glasses, it's always really handy to have a Hank. So I've got the O-Hank in the old back pocket there. And the other pocket, of course, as you know, got the mirrored and tactical wallet. Got to have that. And that's all for back pockets coming around here. We got the, we got the Oops Pal Surprise. Whoops, and it didn't work that time. Anyway, the Kershaw Outlier in the uh, top watch pocket there. Also got, of course, guys, you know, I got to, I got to plug it again. It's the TFP01, the Technical front pocket from Knife Eye King. Got a couple of different things in here that I want to get into with you guys, so make sure you stick around for that. I think that's all we got over there. Yes. Okay, so of course, got the, as always, guys, appendix carrying the Taurus G3C with the Olight Balder R. I think that's the one that, RL, sorry, Olight Balder RL on this one. It's the red light and flashlight. Super handy to have, and these are really awesome, guys. I don't know if you're real familiar with the, uh, this is unloaded, by the way, and on safe. So, um, I don't know if you guys are really familiar with the uh, Olight weapon-mounted lights, but they're super easy to mount and dismount. So, and also they charge underneath the tail cap, or underneath the uh, bottom there, so it makes them super easy just click it back on and snap it back down and i realized i just stuck my hand in front of the muzzle there but anyway you get the idea um let's put that down okay so uh when i'm carrying a spare mag i always carry on the left side here and i i just have some little simple uh mag holsters that i use um oh yeah the gun and flower holster yeah we can't forget that gun and flower kydex holster uh molded to fit the g3c with the the, the ulti belt. clip was a game changer for me because um, being a bigger guy, it allows you to carry a little more easily appendix and you can snap it onto any kind of material. So sweats, um, shorts, anything like that is going to work with the ulti clip. And they've got several different models, but you just find the one that fits your particular holster. 
And uh, yeah, very happy with that carry. I've stuck with it for a long time. It hasn't changed. Um, yeah, and then we do have, of course, over here, spare mag. And like I said, I like to keep my spare mags uh, so I could draw left-handed and then insert into the firearm. So, you know, just a little tip for you there. And uh, guys, I am still rocking the Vismix uh, belt, and I, I love this thing. I'm going to get into a little bit more about the uh, how, how it's worn this week so far. But so far, I'm really, really happy with it. I like how this cummerbund that comes over, I can line my ulti clip right up with it, and it helps it just make it a little bit more low profile there, a little harder to uh, spot. But the uh, Vismix belt is awesome, guys. I'm really loving it. Of course, like I talked about last week, it is allowing me to carry the Rhino Tactical Tourniquet, actually Velcro to the outside of the belt. And uh, again, guys, the, the Vismix Tactical Belt really has been a game changer for my EDC. Um, again, allowing me to carry my tourniquet on body so that you can always be ready. Guys, make sure you have a tourniquet and that it's part of your EDC. That's just a, uh, a must there. Okay, so um, give me just a second, guys, and we'll get into the why I'm carrying what I carry. And I'll tell you a little bit about what's changed this week. Uh, I'm carrying the uh, MSI, of course. And that's just because it's the knife that I've uh, got coming up to review. So I always like to carry them, get a little time in with them, you know, just to, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Let's so guys, I wanted to just go through really quick, you know, not a lot has changed for my carry this week. Uh, so, you know, um, one thing that is different, I am carrying the Microtech MSI, the Microtech standard issue. That's a little bit different for this week. You know, a lot of the things that I am carrying this week haven't changed, but you know, um, I am doing a few little things differently here and there so I'm trying some new things out you know with the uh, tactical front pocket I'm carrying a few different things in it you know so no real big changes this week but I have been just trying to make small incremental changes you know guys I can't talk enough about what a game changer the Vizmix tactical belt system is just the inner belt itself having the hook on the outside I'm sorry the loop on the outside and being able to fasten my tourniquet to it and just wear it around my waist, that is such a game changer. Guys, so I can't tell you enough how much I like it. It's held up so far to use. It is, um, it's a little bit stiffer than the belt I was using before, but it has enough flex in it for me. I, I don't mind it, and it keeps the gun securely in place. I can say that for sure. So, you know, that is something, um, you know, always got the uh, SOG power leader on me, of course. Uh... Anything else different this week? Not really a whole lot else different this week, guys. My, uh, I, I'm kind of working on just some small incremental changes, but I am sort of feel like I'm honing in on my EDC. If you've watched my videos before, you know I always have the iMini 2 around my neck. I always have the uh, TicWatch Pro on, so you know those are just things that I always carry. And my knife's going to vary week to week depending on what you know what i have coming up for review i do have a review coming up on the msi so you know that's why it's the one that's in my pocket this week and i just want to be honest about what's in the pockets you know guys i want to see what's in your pockets too so make sure you go over to instagram uh at average gear review all lowercase and make sure you use the hashtag tgif pocket dump and let me see what you've been carrying all week guys you know th this is our chance to get it all out of our pockets the weekend is upon us it's Time to relax, and uh, you know, so I want to see what you guys have been carrying all week. Let me know what you think about my carry down below. Are you guys carrying a tourniquet yet? Do you have a tourniquet? Give me a give me a yes or no down in the comments. You, I'm talking to you. Do you have a tourniquet? Do you know how to use it? Are you carrying it? You better be. But seriously, guys, if you like the video, please leave a like down below. It does mean the world to me. It means a lot to the channel. It helps us grow. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing if you want to keep up to the latest and greatest on new EDC gear that's coming out. If you want to follow along on my personal EDC journey that I'm on and watch my EDC evolution, follow along with me, guys. Follow us on Instagram, like I said, at Average Gear Review. And subscribe down below for more content, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Before I got out of here, guys, I did want to show you one more thing. Um, you know, I had the dark wash on today, but the uh, Kenneth Cole Reaction Jeans, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I just think they're a very good jean for EDC. So I, I, I'm not sponsored at all by them. But I do have a link in the description below for where you can find them on Amazon. They have several washes. This is a black pair that I really like. Uh, 
the pair that I had on is a dark wash and then this is a lighter wash. And uh, here in a second, I'm gonna show you a configuration on this, basically show you how I'm carrying what I'm carrying and that you can kind of see how it, uh, how everything fits in the pockets. So yeah, let's get into that. So guys, I did want to give you just a kind of a close up look at a couple of things. Um, and I wanted to show you these jeans that I was talking about, these Kenneth Cole reaction jeans. Um, I have the dark wash pair on, but I've got another pair here. And what I did is I just set them up uh, the way that I normally wear them. Um, just to kind of show you, just to kind of give you an idea of how they carry. Now this is the uh, Vismix tactical belt that I was talking about. And you can see how um, I could put the ulti clip right up against that. And it makes it just a little bit more low profile. It doesn't stick out as much. And again, guys, if you are a bigger guy, this ulti clip is, is absolutely the way to go. I modified mine a little bit to um, so the holster rides a little bit lower, but it, you know either way you can wear it on sweats, you can wear it on shorts. I, I can't talk enough about this, and this Vismix tactical belt really has been a game changer. But I wanted to show you these jeans in particular. They advertise them as a five pocket jean. Um, by the way, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. It's an Amazon affiliate link, so if you end up clicking on it, you know it will help the channel a little bit um, we get like a slight percentage i think of it but it doesn't cost you any more and like i say a lot of times i have some uh discounts or coupons there where you can get them for a little bit less so take a look at it if you're interested in the uh calvin klein reaction jeans but they're um a really durable this pair is a lighter pair that i've had for uh, probably a couple of years now and you can see how much stretch they have to them but they are really, really durable. They've held up really well to daily use. These jeans actually converted me to a, a jeans wearer again because I, I was not a big jeans wearer. Um, they just weren't comfortable to me, but these, it, it's almost like wearing pajamas, but they have the durability of uh, some really nice durable jeans. And so um, good deep pockets here. It allows me to carry my uh, tactical folding pocket from Knife Eye King. And uh, I'm keeping a little small pry bar in here. I'm keeping my Odical Mini Driver. Just uh, nice to have a little bit driver there on hand. Um, just a small EDC flashlight here. Fits in there nicely. Uh, I3T, any kind of flashlight like that. And I uh, wanted to show off this little pin that I got from my buddy Matt. Good guy with a gun. Yeah, go check out his YouTube channel. He's just starting up a YouTube channel and he's a good friend of mine and he sent me this along with some really, really great coffee. So shout out to Good Guy With Gun. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description there so you guys can check him out. But uh, that is my pen that I've been carrying. Comes with a nice little D-shackle on it there. Wears really nicely in the pocket. And again, these pockets are plenty deep so that that rides really low. Um, on the thigh and never gets in the way and then it does have you can see a uh, fifth pocket here a watch pocket That's a really nice deep pocket. I wanted to see if yeah, so you can fit a full-size Leatherman wave uh, That's a wave plus fits in there easily And jostling the table around sorry there guys See you can see that fits in there easily, but also there is another pocket that's hidden behind it basically hides behind your belt when you're wearing it. Um, laying on the table here, it's not quite doing it, but when you're wearing it, it'll it'll hide behind your belt, and uh, that allows you to keep your handy dandy Kershaw outlier in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and on the other side, let me show you the other side here, guys. Again, like I said, it advertises it as a fifth pocket as a jeans pair of jeans with a uh, fifth pocket but there's pockets over here too um there's enough room here to carry the uh, sog power leader it fits in there easily it's got plenty of room and in fact i can slide it over there behind this uh, pocket gusset and almost just completely hide it then there's this is all one big pocket but it is um, sectioned off there with some uh, stitching as you can see but here you can fit, again, I think you could probably fit that uh, full-size wave in there. Yeah, full-size wave fits in there easily. And then you've got another, another little partition almost here where you could fit, uh, you know, you could put a Sharpie or your Ed Calderon crystal pin. Uh, got the Microtech MSI over here. On this side, uh, you know, carrying offhand carry. 
So, yeah, that just kind of gives you an idea of, uh, you know, how much versatility these jeans give you with all these extra pockets, you know, all these extra places to store stuff. And then this, uh, especially this hidden pocket over here, I really love that. So, uh, yeah. And uh, again, you know, my, my loadout on this really hasn't changed much. I'm carrying about the same stuff. But, uh, yeah, so let me give you a, a little bit of a... Oh, note. yeah, yeah. I did want to show you one more thing. The uh, tourniquet trick. You guys got to see this. This is just the coolest thing ever. So the tourniquet that I'm carrying is a Rhino Tactical. And it's... It's got, it's got the, uh, the loop or the hook. And this has the loop, which allows you to... Let me see if I can... And again, guys, carrying all this stuff right around the waist area and low on your body makes it, uh, it doesn't add a lot of weight. And if you position it right, it'll kind of save your lower back from a lot of trouble there too. So that's a tip for you know, older guys like me. But what I've been doing is basically getting this under here. Yeah, so it kind of tucks underneath there with the buckle. And then I just, you just Velcro it the rest of the way around. And uh, what's nice about that is it goes over the belt loops and it really secures your belt in place. That's another thing I found from wearing it like that. So it's a little bit longer, but you can see. And then that allows you to wear your tourniquet right here on your belt. So if you ever need it. You don't have to go through rubber bands or anything to get to it, which I've heard can be a problem for guys if uh, you get hit in the arm. It is, uh, you know, you, you may have to do this one-handed. That's super easy to get out of those belt loops. And then you just peel it. And there you go. Your tourniquet is deployed. So, yeah, guys, that's something to definitely look at. Look at, uh, you know, if you've been trying to find a way to carry a tourniquet. How many of you guys are carrying a tourniquet? I hope everybody is. Uh, you know, if you're a longtime viewer, guys, I'm urging you to get uh, get and carry a tourniquet and train with how to use it, of course. But, uh, yeah, this is a real game changer and allows it to carry right on your body. Um, as, you know, they say, it's very low vis, so it doesn't stick out. It wears right underneath your shirt. Somebody's not going to notice this any more than they're going to notice this inside the belt, um, you know, as long as you're wearing it correctly. So, yeah, it's a nice little tip for you. Okay, guys, and I almost forgot we got our uh, stickers in from BEEDC. These are some stickers, I think, is there is Texas Blade Show stickers. So, uh, we got the old uh, Dimco Armager 2 here that we're going to use to cut into that. And uh, let's look and see what, uh, what Mr. Brian has sent us. Oh no. Put that over there. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay, so it's some of his uh, Texas Blade Show stickers for uh, BEEDC there. I'm going to have to replace my sticker with the Texas Blade Show, Blade Show sticker over here. Let's get some of those and some of his regular stickers. So, hey guys, if you want a uh, BEEDC sticker, Hit me up. I got a ton of them over here. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Appreciate those. I'm going to probably, y'all, stuff those in some of the giveaways for our 500 subscriber giveaway that we have coming up. The best gear is the gear you have on you.